what's up y'all I'm back so today I wanted to talk about one of my pet peeves it's a pet peeve um, regarding abuse of course so if you are a victim of abuse then you're gonna automatically know what I'm talking about. You're gonna know. Like, um, it's just rocket science, but I mean, it's not rocket science. What am I saying? It's just pretty obvious at this point. Now, what I'm referring to is that people who have not been through trauma automatically don't understand. I'll just, that's just point blank. That's just pretty obvious. They won't understand you. There are certain aspects about you that they're not going to understand. Like, period. You might act like a normal person, like in everyday life or whatever, but in reality, your mind is just a little bit different from theirs because it's, your mind has been traumatized, I guess. The trauma rewires your brain in a certain way, whereas people who have not been through trauma, their brain has not been rewired that way, so they're not going to understand. They're never going to understand. They can try, but they never will. They never will fully understand. That's why a lot of people who have not been through trauma, they act like assholes. They really don't know how to talk to people who have been through trauma. They just, they don't care. They, they want to automatically say, oh, well, you're just being lazy or you're just making excuses. Oh, well, you're just stuck in your comfort zone and you just had this and you're just doing that and blah, 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 blah. People just like to talk because... Um, like I said, they don't understand. People who have been through depression, but their depression is from like regular daily life stuff. Their depression is not going to be the same as someone who's been raped a few times. You know what I mean? That's it's just automatically not the case. Now, a pet peeve of mine is when someone looks at me and they say, now this hasn't happened in a while, but there are some people who, or in the past, this has happened. Where people would look at me and they're like, stop reliving your trauma. And I'm automatically like, <sighs> again, they don't understand. That's easier said than done. Now, I don't purposely relive the trauma. You know what I mean? Who wants to purposely relive their trauma? Who wants to purposely keep bringing up bad memories after bad memories and trying to remember everything bad that happened to who wants to do that like come on i'm not the type of person who likes throwing pity parties now i used to in the past because i was young and i didn't know any better and i was always kind of throwing pity parties instead of like really trying to figure out how to rewire my life but again that's because my brain had been had been messed up like i was my mental state was not where it should have been. So, um, there were some times in the past where there were some people I encountered, mostly online, where I threw a lot of pity parties and stuff, for like, I, not on purpose, but I, I, did, I would just complain a lot. I would complain to these people and, you know, just sit there and boo all the time. But really, I was just looking for help. I wasn't really trying to, like, get the person to help me out or get them to feel sorry for I mean, yeah, of course, everybody wants to, wants someone to feel sorry for them but that wasn't my wasn't my goal you know what I mean I wasn't trying to get the person to be like okay okay I'll help you because there's nothing they can do to help me you know what I mean a lot of times those people were not in any position to help me in any sort of way like they couldn't even be there for me like the majority of people I'm talking about are no longer in my life like they've been gone <laughs> a long time ago they were in no position to help me they were in no position to offer me any sort of support and if they did I shot it down because there was just so much stuff going on it was as if I was making excuses when I really wasn't you all, you all know what I mean or am I just sounding all jumbled up right now anyway I hate I fucking hate when people say that like I said they they automatically say tell people like me to stop living reliving my trauma I don't purposely do it. Nobody purposely does it. But, 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 sometimes you have to relive the trauma. 
There are a lot of cases where you have to relive it, unfortunately. Every fucking day I get up, there are things that remind me of where I came from. That's just going to be something, that's just life. That's going to be there for the rest of my damn life. And I'm only 32. That's going to be there forever. There's always going to be some kind of trigger. Now, I don't get triggered easily. I don't even like using the word trigger sometimes because people take that out of, out of whack and they're like, oh, trigger, I'm triggered, I'm triggered, I'm triggered, I'm triggered. But I don't get triggered easily. I, uh, there are reminders of my trauma, of course, obviously. There are going to be constant reminders, like our financial state is a constant reminder. Um, me just thinking about my family is a constant reminder. It could be any member of my family, constant reminder. Because I'm not really close with my family, and majority of my family, 99.9% of the people in my family and my husband's family are gone out of both of our lives. Because they did nothing to help us through anything. All they did was talk about us and keep us down. So, majority of the people are gone. But every time I think of one of them, or there's a reminder of one of them, or something like that, it's a constant reminder, again. I might just think about, you know, my mom for like half a second and I'm like, mm. it just reminds me of something. It reminds me of the bad. I don't think about the good because people who have done harm to me, you're not going to be thinking about the good things that they did to you. You're going to be thinking more on, about the bad. And it's annoying. It's really annoying. But again, there are always going to be reminders. When you go through that type of trauma, there are constant reminders. You might see something from your childhood that kind of like resurrects something, you know? It might be a cartoon, it could be a song, it could be a fucking shirt, it could be a TV show, it could be anything. That's just life. And that's unfortunate. That's hella unfortunate for people like me. Because, like I said, it's everywhere. So for someone who has not been through sexual abuse to tell me, stop reliving your trauma, doesn't make any sense to me. Like, that's complete bullshit. And I can't automatically tell people that, like, you know, I can't just say, oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Because, yeah. <laughs> I can't really do that. I'm not really in a position to do that. And I don't want to be mean. I don't want to come off any type of way. But people have just done that a lot. And like I said, no one purposely relives their trauma. It's an everyday thing. This is something you're going to live with for the rest of your life. There's no way you can erase those memories unless... You know, at some point in the future, there's some kind of machine or whatever that can rewire your memories, even though I wouldn't ever exactly fuck with that. Like, But again, it's a daily thing. It's life. It's your life. Whatever is done to you in your life is going to forever be in your head. Now, if you magically are able to erase those bad memories, then good, to, good for you. Maybe you don't have to worry about them. Maybe there's no reason for you to remember them. Maybe, maybe it's good you don't remember them. Maybe some part of you, some part of you does not want to remember them because there's no reason to hang on to it. However, for me, I have a very good memory. I've always had a very good memory. I remember things from like way back in my childhood. Like I remember my um I still remember my address from when I lived in Brooklyn. I still remember my phone number from Brooklyn. 718-452-1798. That was my phone number from from when we lived back in Brooklyn. I still remember that shit. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I've always had a good memory. Point blank. So, like I said, constant reminders. You telling me to stop reliving the past is pointless. There are going to be certain things, that, there are going to be reasons where I'm going to have to relive the past. Hell, my name is a trigger. Reminder. Anything. Anything I'm going through... Something my kids could do is a reminder, you know, just anything. Something my husband does or just, like I said, anything. There are reminders every single day. Every single day of my life, there's something that reminds me of my bad past. And I just can't help that. That's just life. But with me, I've learned how to deal with it. I've learned how to work with it. I don't get triggered to where, you know, I see something and now all of a sudden I freak out. I don't do that. I'm really, 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 really glad I have a strong enough mind to not do that. I'm so glad. <laughs> like I'll see something I'll, I'll be reminded of something it might make me cry depending on what it is like I might like do like a small cry but nothing detrimental I'm not gonna go crawl in the corner and like start freaking out spazzing out 
and be like, oh God, somebody help me, somebody hold me. You know, basically going to going into an anxiety attack. I don't do that. I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy I don't have any of those issues. So, like I said, I just, I don't like when people say that. You guys need to be really sensitive of abuse people's feelings. Don't tell them to not relive their trauma. Because in order for them to heal, they're going to have to relive it. And again, there's constant reminders. Constant reminders that are going to, they might tr get triggered. They might feel some type of way and you're going to have to deal with that. If you love that person, you care for that person, you're going to have to deal with that. You can't always tell them, oh, stop bringing it up. Stop thinking about the past. Stop reliving this. Stop reliving that. Yes, there, there's going to be a point where you can stop reliving certain things, but it's a process, y'all. It's a journey. Just like everything else is a journey. Every damn thing is a journey. You growing up is a journey. You uh, getting your money is a journey. You building a business. Is a everything you do is a journey. You can't tell that person to not relive it when that's part of their journey. You know what I mean? It's part of their journey to go through those motions. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to do that. Even as, a, even as a person who has not been abused, you still go through that. That's life. So, just be mindful of what you say. You might be hurting people more than you realize when you say things like that. Don't, don't do that. Unless you know that person really personally and there's a certain way you can say it without coming off so brash. Don't do that because you haven't been in that person's shoes. Just please don't. <laughs> be mindful. That's all I'm saying. Be mindful. You don't want to send that person into another spiraling chronic depression, depression because they think they can't do anything about their situation or they can't rehash their feelings or rehash their pasts. You don't want to make them feel like that. Trust me, I've been there. Been there. Done that. Got the t-shirt and the tattoo. So it's like, people tell you stop reliving your trauma and it's like, how the hell can you? You can't. It's part of you. It's ingrained in you forever. You'll be 60 years old and you're still going to be reminders. Sorry, that's just what it is. <laughs> so, I hope you guys take that as some food for thought. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a great day, week, month, year, century, and all that other jazz. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. We've got more coming. And peace out.